What's up guys, Winter Kills here, welcome to round four, the final match for uh, Locals last week, maybe a week from today, got another Locals to go to again today as I'm recording this, so I should be trying to get a few more matches recorded for you guys, so I have more stuff going up over the week, as well as getting some more deck profiles done, but uh, yeah. As you'll see in this match, it's a very, uh, very, very close match. It's it's basically towards the end you'll see in the later games that it just comes down to who can win in the simplified gain state. Whoever just has the bigger monster. And uh, yeah, it, it's, it's pretty interesting. and It's one of the better matches I've played in a while. Uh, and it was actually kind of fun, I guess. <laughs> it wasn't just like getting stomped either way. Like, I... You know, open really good, or he opened really good. It's that's not how it was. Like it was just back and forth, and just really, really good, uh, really good Yu-Gi-Oh. You know. But, and you'll also see later on that there are some like cuts. This is because it took so long in between, uh, like, to make certain plays because I had to think about making plays and for the other player as well, playing Draco Pals. So you'll see that later on. But first turn he goes, two set back row, Evil Swarm Nightmare, so basically he can book the first two special summons that I make, which really sucks, and it's really really good for him, because Evil Swarm Nightmare is just, you know, it's not once per turn, you can attach both materials in one turn to get its effect, but I think I am able to out it. I'll Forbidden Chalice in my own turn to run over it. This kind of goes to show you what kind of hand that I have to work with. I think I said another chalice and something else. I actually think it's another chalice I have set. I think I opened triple chalice. I could be wrong though. So he'll run over Turge with that master pendulum and then he's going to pass back over to me. Like I said earlier, both of us did not open well either way. So it's just kind of back and forth with whoever can make a small play or whoever's got the bigger monster. So I luckily resolve this Pike. And then when Pike resolves, he's going to chain the Treacherous Trap Hole to destroy Pike and Master Pendulum. Leaving our fields empty once again. Oh yeah, it's a warning. Okay, that's what it was. Warning to stop his instant fusion. He'll pay a thousand, I'll pay two thousand to stop his place. I have thing I have gunned and uh marksman in hand, and he gets a full set of scales, is able to pendulum summon out that master pendulum. He's got a huge advantage with those scales, especially since he's got lizard draw. He can basically get another free draw next turn if he decides to do so. I'll set one back row. I believe that's a twin twister not doing too much to help me at the moment and right here I think I draw a Teus and the Teus is actually a pretty decent draw at this point it's something I can put on the field however necessary can't beat over the master pendulum but can allow for some pretty good defense until he has to uh, go out of his way to get rid of it by removal or whatever or until I can draw something good to make plays again you know I haven't seen instant fusion I haven't seen like Neptibus or Deep Sea Diva, so this game is pretty rough. I end up discarding Gund off of Teus, which is nice. I can go grab Turge. I don't have any targets left in deck for Mermails, the level 4 lower Mermails to search, which really sucks because at this time I wasn't playing just one Turge, one Pike, one Gund. Um, and I, I, I do like playing that way, but it's just one of these weird times where like that is a problem. It's like once in a freaking blue moon where you're like, oh, well, now I, I open all my targets. I don't have anything to search for. Um, but yeah, I recently just started playing two gunned to try that out because I'm also playing lead. Um, I, it was all right. I didn't really like playing the two gunned. Last night I went to another locals, like a 40 person locals and went X2, which was all right. But I didn't like playing two gunned. I think I'll probably stick to playing just one Turge, Pike, Gun, or maybe two Pike, I'm not sure. But, I'll have the Instant Fusion, he's gonna fail her the Norden, it's just, it's just horrible, like, game one just not going well for either of us, 
but he ends up getting the upper hand as we saw as he's be able to make Ignister with that mass chameleon and there's just no way from there so I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop we'll take it to game two he's gonna open Draco face off I'm gonna opt to chain the max C just in case he wants to special summon whatever it is that he would get off that face off figure at least try for a free draw better time than any is gonna go grab the original combo monkey board into Joker into Lizard Draw off that Wavering Eyes. He's got a full set of scales. He's able to pendle him out, I believe. His Sorcerer, if he wanted to, Sorcerer, Vector, and Bluster. But he's gonna opt not to because he still is under maxi and realizing that if he were to do that, he'd probably be able to make a whole lot of plays. And rather just play conservatively and not let me get any more draws so basically I go minus a card for my starting hand but I luckily I've got Neptibus this time so that's nice and the turn I open this card with the, with the decent cards I have man I've got double chalice still I think I'm still playing triple chalice the reason I'm playing triple chalice and mermalis is because uh, I just I just think it's really a really good card to help you know stop first turn dwellers and fiends but I haven't really seen too many of that recently and I'm thinking about cutting it down to two again just because it's not that useful in the past like five or six or seven eight matches I've played and it just hasn't come up that much as that much of a clutch card more of kind of an annoyance to draw into um, but I don't know we'll see we'll see after today's uh, locals whether or not I want to end up siding more of it out I usually do end up siding it out in that and upstart uh, game two just because it's not as useful as I would like it to be and I don't know I think I think chalice is definitely a good card but I don't know if playing it at three is what I want to do so yeah you'll see here we've got Megalo tripping off that Neptibus summoning out the infantry instead of Dragoons to go grab Diva get that second normal summon for Diva I believe Diva's gonna go grab me a infantry or not infantry a marksman now I'm able to make armory arm here with the Diva and the infantry. I've already got the Mizuchi Abyss Scale in hand. Now I'm going to be able to push for huge, huge damage right here. No damage juggler to stop this. So I don't got to worry about anything except for Speed Ride Menko, but I don't think he plays it. So nothing to worry about there. It's basically game over at this point. When you have Megalo with Mizuchi and Armory Arm, you pretty much win that game automatically because you're just doing absurd amounts of damage. He's at 4,200. He'll attack over for, I think, like 24 or something, and then he'll get burned for 1,800, and then I'll swing him for 42 again, and then 14, and then if I needed to, infantry could activate his effect to summon out something else and attack with that. As you can tell, just the, the OTK power with Mermails right now is just absolutely incredible. And uh, sometimes you open that way, sometimes you don't. Like, like how I'm opening right now with the classic T set. I believe I have just a set infantry. Not sure what my back row is. Might be a twin twister. So he's gonna summon the vector. Now here's what's gonna happen. It'll go wavering eyes. I'm gonna chain twin twister to wavering eyes. Little misunderstanding. He thought I was activating it preemptively, but I was not. Tried to take back that play. Tried to trick me there, but nope. Not allowing that Wavering Eyes to go off. We'll get Teus. He's going to Valor the Teus. But at least I'll pop his monster and be able to swing in for 17. Again, we're once, once again back into the simplified game state of just not having any monsters, having any plays. And there he is, normal summoning the Vector, being able to beat over my, my Teus. Which is just strange. <laughs> see a level 4 beat over level 7 I guess but I guess it doesn't matter nowadays those beat stick Draco Slayers are really really annoying in this matchup especially now in the simplified game state like he just has such a huge advantage being able to normal summon these 1950 and 1850 beat sticks it's just absolutely devastating so now I've got Norden Norden I don't know if this is necessarily the best play to make but I had to <laughs> I had to do instant fusion into whatever to normal summon the megalo. Guys, I had to tribute summon for a megalo. Can you believe that? 
That's how desperate we were right now. <laughs> Both of us. Like, I just needed to get something on the field only for it to get Raikakied. Just because, obviously, he wouldn't have been able to do anything at that point. I top deck a Neptibus. He still has Silver Claw on board. Now, this is one of the deciding moments of the game. And I'll have you guys help me figure this out. What you would have done in this situation. Now, I have no heavy infantry in deck. I suppose maybe last turn or a play before I could have not used that heavy infantry and just kept it in deck somehow, but here's the issue. Like, actually, no. No, this isn't the issue right now. I could have sent heavy infantry off this Neptibus and popped his Silver Claw so he wouldn't have been able to make the rank 4 he's going to make next turn. But instead, I opt to send Dragoons and set up for next turn with an infantry diva into Neptibus play. Which is pretty explosive. But he ends up drawing another level 4 monster, which allows him to go into Steel Swarm Roach. And if I would have popped that Silver Claw with an infantry and added something else to my hand, like a marksman or whatever, to have more plays, like this. I wouldn't have been in this position where I would have been under the the uh, grips of a Steel Swarm Roach, which really sucks. Like, he took like maybe five minutes or so to decide what rank four he was going to go into, whether it be Dweller, Reflesia, or Steel Swarm Roach, and I was really scared that he was going to Dweller, but turns out if he would have made Dweller, I would have won, because uh, we were both at really low life points. I had like 1,400, he has like... 2000 something um if you would have made dweller surprisingly if you would have made dweller against mermels in this moment just think about this he would have lost um it turns out steel swarm roach is going to be the best thing to do so i have no choice but to synchro for a four armory arm is unfortunately 100 points short of getting over even though i would have equipped it to neptibus it still would have been 100 points short to get over the Steel Swarm Roach, and that whole time I was trying to think what to synchro for with all those cards I had. I was like, I could just make Scarlight Dragon, the level 8 synchro, but of course you can just negate the summon of that with the Steel Swarm Roach. And it, it's just, it just sucks having to deal with the Steel Swarm Roach. And if I would have only popped the Silver Claw, you know, maybe it would have been a different game, but again, how am I supposed to know that he's going to top deck another level 4 uh, to make this play? And, I don't know, if I would have been playing Elder Entity Hastor or the Rank 2 Sky Calvary Centuria, I would have been able to beat over this, no problem. I definitely would have been in a better game state. But, like, it's just one of these niche situations where you think, oh, if I was just playing this card for this really, you know, once in a while situation that comes up where I need a, a beater that I can go into that's a level 4 synchro or rank 2. You know, they just don't come up that often, which is why you don't really prepare for those situations but a lot of times they don't they happen and uh you end up losing because you don't have the cards you need to get out of those situations but yeah i've been thinking about playing the rank 2 sky cavalry in mermails for a little while because it's good against cosmo and it's also just a good rank 2 to go into i'll probably stick with playing that um and i also kind of want to play a level 5 synchro high speed roid chanbara or chanbarider whatever it's called it's like 2200 attack and it can attack twice I've been thinking about playing that as well. And even if I was playing it there, it still would have sucked because Steel Storm Roach would have just negated it. And I was also thinking, like, if I could make Herald at this point, um, I could try to make another play on top of that. And if he tries to negate it with Steel Storm Roach, I obviously have the Herald to negate the Roach, but I didn't have enough resources to do so. So that's going to be it. I'll end up losing in round four. I think this is me going x2 i ended up losing to my brother who was playing ddds as well the round before and yeah it would have been x1 but i ended up losing here finishing x2 which sucks but it's all right we got another local to go today we'll see how good we can do there made a few more changes some extra decks from last night's locals 40 person locals they also went x2 at just didn't open too well just didn't see the cards i wanted to see but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. If you guys want to see some dual videos without commentary in the future, if I can get some videos done today um, without people acting like an idiot in the background and saying stupid shit, um, I can get videos without any commentary up for you guys if you want to see that. So please, uh, if you 
seeing too many commentary videos, I understand I can post less of them. Less of them, just please let me know in the comments. I appreciate you guys' feedback as well as your support. Thank you so much for watching. Winter Kills, signing out.